religious oh hi everybody religious fanboy here again and i just kind of got inspired to read some scripture in a video um like it's kind of i'll be reading scripture talking about like um Suffering and kind of like overcoming suffering and, and and that God's view on stuff and suffering and stuff. Um, with that being said, um, please, if you know of any more passages in this topic, um. Please, um, put, um, please put the Bible references and the scripture references in the comments below. I very much would appreciate that. I will, um, as I research this topic for other videos and just for my own spiritual growth, I will add them as I find them. Um, and that being said, uh, please pause the video and turn to 2 Corinthians, um, chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. Who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also abounds through through Christ. Now, if we are afflicted, if we are affected, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effective for enduring the same sufferings which we are, we also suffer. Or if we are comforted, it is. For your consolation and salvation. And our hope for you is steadfast because we know that as you are partakers of the suffering, so also you will partake of the consol of the consolation. For we do not want you to to be ignorant, brethren, of our trouble, which came to us in Asia, in Asia, that we were burdened beyond measure, above strength, so that we despaired even of life. Yes, we had the sentence of death in, our, in ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God who raises the dead who delivers us from a great death and does deliver us in whom we trust that, that he will still deliver us. You also helping together in, in prayer for us that thanks may be given by many persons on our behalf for the gift granted to us through many. And then there was, um, um, when it was, talking about, um, being helped, it kind of reminded me of, 
this lesson from that I found in an anime. Um, the show's called Shonen Maiden. In the episode, um, I really like how there's the lesson or theme of the show is the title of the episode. Um, the episode was titled um, Learning Does Not Happen in a Day. And, and I am, um, I really like how, um, how like she and Monica really like started to be open with each other, especially in this episode. Um, about like their feelings and stuff. Um, and I wanted to quickly before I I do recommend the episode if, if you guys have the um it's on Funimation. Um I I like how um if you guys are looking for like ways to find find anime to watch on the internet and like so pretty decent um availability to like set up boundaries for yourself. Um definitely prefer using Funimation for as far as watching anime online goes because it allows you to search by genre of anime and age rating which um just as like boundary for myself I usually use um I usually don't I my personal taste I tend to watch either shonen or um or uh, or slice of life anime, um, and as far as ratings go, I don't usually go above TVPG. Um, and I wanted to. Um, I found the. I wanted to. Um, read um, a passage from Philippians. Uh, please turn your Bibles to Philippians um, chapter 1 verse 20, 27. And we'll be reading through Through um through eleven of chapter two. Only let only let your conduct be worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or am absent, I may hear of your affairs. That you stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel, and not in any way terrified by your suffering, by your adversaries, which is to them a proof of, per of perdition, but to you of salvation and that from God from you, for to you it has been granted on behalf of Christ not only to believe in him but also to suffer for his sake having the same conflict which you saw in me and now and now here is 
here is in me. Therefore, if there is any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and mercy, fulfill my joy by being like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in the loneliness of the mind, let each let each esteem other others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of other of others. Let the mind be in in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a of a bond servant and coming in the likeness of men, and being found in the appearance. As a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of those in heaven and those on earth and those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God and the Father. With with that being said, may God be with you, and see you next time. Bye.